What is up guys, David here from Overland Nomad and today I'm gonna be reviewing this cool little fridge uh, that I got. And I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna go over the details uh, a little bit uh, later when uh, you see me at home, but here I wanna show you because I'm actually camping out and uh, it's, by the way, it's beautiful out here. We're at South Padre Island, South Texas. But anyways, let's get back to the fridge here and let it focus. This is a Bougie RV, very interesting name. Bougie RV, I believe it's a 30 quart. By the way, Bougie RV did send me this uh, fridge to test out. And um, I have it running with my EcoFlow River Pro that I did a little review on it too. You can check that out on my channel. What's cool about this one is that it's not a, it's not a dual zone, but you could turn it into a fridge or a freezer. Uh, it's a very affordable fridge. I believe it's like 260 on Amazon. Let's check it out here. I got all my stuff. Uh, one thing that you notice that this one does not have a light anywhere. That's one little thing uh, that I noticed. Um, I have this thing here in the back, and if I don't have any music playing, you can kind of hear. I don't know what it's in there. Uh, I don't know what it is, but there's like a liquid. You can hear a shh, like something like going. Um, you could also. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's a little fan noise that you, you'll hear. It's it's uh, noticeable for sure. It doesn't bother me. Uh, for the price point that this fridge is, it's pretty nice. Uh, I did just get it. Um, well, I got it a few weeks ago actually, and I've already been using it a few times, and uh, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Uh, but I love this fridge. Um, as you can see, it's got its buttons here. It's got a little decal here you can uh, it tells you the operations and uh, it comes with uh, AC and DC charger so here I have it plugged into DC on the EcoFlow you can also you know plug it into your vehicle as well so so yeah all right guys well welcome to the Overland Nomad product review headquarters which is my camper over here we have the bougie rv 30 quart that you saw right now uh it's already been probably a few weeks maybe a month since you saw there at the beach this cooler which was great didn't give me any issues i haven't had any issues actually whatsoever i was carrying this in my tundra just uh every on an everyday kind of thing i would just have it in there um and it's been great. I plug it into my EcoFlow. You can plug this into your vehicle too, which we'll talk about in a bit. But I usually plug it into my EcoFlow and uh, it does great. Um, I guess let me talk about power consumption. So this EcoFlow, this, this Bougie RV uh, cooler has a Max and Eco switch. So let's try to see if we can mess with that because I actually haven't messed with it. I just, right now doing all the research, I realized that you have a max and eco flow. So it has this little uh, setting where it locks and unlocks. I'm not sure why, but I tell you here, hold the gear for three seconds. It's gonna unlock it there. So we're unlocked. So let's press this button to switch it to eco mode. Okay. It's just stuck on max. Press key to switch. Well, it's not really switching. Oh, I guess it's a little problem right there. Um, I don't know if it's going to take a bit to switch or what, but it's stuck on max. Um, and it, it says here, press the gear button key to switch to max eco. Not sure, but we'll get back to that in a little bit. It's stuck on max, which uses more power when it's on max. Maybe because it's trying to cool off right now. Um, but here you can see the consumption on the output. That's how much it's taken out. And again, it's trying to cool off. I have it set to 34 degrees, and right now it is 43 in here. Well, it's 43 in there. I moved it from the garage to in here. It's a little warm, so it's trying to cool off. Um, anyways, let's go back to talking about power consumption. So it's got those modes. You can plug this in uh, either DC or AC. Right now I have it plugged in, which this is what, uh, DC. So you can plug this directly into your vehicle. 
Um, so you might be worried, you know, uh, what happens if it drains my battery? Well, it has a mode, has three modes, high, medium, and low uh, as a protective. As you can see right there. So you can switch to protection. So if you put it on high, you know, it's gonna, you know, if it senses that it's drained a little bit too much of your battery, it's just gonna cut it off. So uh, it does come with a manual and it explains all that, even on their uh, website. But uh, it does have those modes. Um, so you can plug it into your vehicle. One little nifty thing it has here, it's got, which it's always good to have. I haven't really used it. And uh, I'm, I'm being really honest with you guys here. Uh, this is This was sent by Bougie RB for me to review. But I'm gonna give you my honest review on it, guys. I mean, it's got a USB port, that's pretty nice. It's a little flimsy here. Um, let's open this up. So one thing I really didn't like about it is that it's got no light. I wish I had like a little light here, or over here, you know, an LED. Um, so you can see, I have a regular soda can here. Put it right here on the corner. Got to get a get a perspective of how big it is here. It's supposed to be 15 quarts and 50 quarts. Just have this little divider, and we have a water bottle. Put it right next to it. You can kind of see how big it is. Now let's put. Okay, my camera loves to unfocus. Put it like that. I can tell you how much room it has. It has this little metal chain to hold it, and it's magnetic lid. So you can feel it right there close by itself. It's pretty pretty good. For the price of $2.89 on Amazon, you really can't beat this. Um, sure, if you look at some other, the more expensive stuff, it might have better warranty, whatnot. Actually, I don't know if this even has warranty. I'm sure it does. I'll probably put it right here. Um, it's pretty compact. Um, and it's not heavy at all. It's not heavy at all. It's pretty easy to lift. Like I said, I've already had it probably for two months. <laughs> I know they, whenever they send you a, a, re, a video, like a product to review, they always want you to do it quick, but I'm kind of like slow because I like to kind of, you know, see if it has any uh, weird quirks that are problematic, like like this thing. Like, I don't, don't understand why it's not switching to eco. Well, it's already back to locked. So let's hold this again. Let's unlock it, okay. Let's press the button again. It's blinking, but it won't switch. Maybe because it's trying to cool off, that's why. Might just be that. Uh, but you know, little things like that. Let's go, let me show you around here. Got handles. Here I wanna show you guys the noise that it makes. It's honestly not too bad of noise. Not too, too bad. You have your plug over here where you plug in. That's the only plug it has. Does not have one on this side. And that's pretty much it on this cooler. There's not much on it. This is a very basic cooler. It's really nice because it's pretty compact. Um, it fits in my Subaru pretty nice compared to my Iceco that's a 75 quart thing's a monstrosity. That thing is perfect when I go on family camping trips. We we just did on a we went on a five night camping trip to Colorado. Without that Ice Co 75 quart was perfect for that. Um, this is perfect for trips like that. If it's just you by yourself, that's fine. Um, I did. I'm not sure if I've mentioned, but this thing does turn into a freezer. You can either switch it to a fridge or freezer. It can't be both. But you could do that, which is pretty nice. Let's let's actually toggle down. Oh, let's uh take off the lock. So let's go let's see how what's the lowest it does here. Negative eight's your lowest. So let's go back, put it back up to 34. So the fridge doesn't freak out and start cooling, we'll leave it there. Let's see, let's see if it'll lock if I do this. Oh, I think I, oh, hold three seconds to switch protective mode. Let's do that. Oh, you see? Skip the medium there. 
Oh wait. Hey, I think we got it. Now we're on eco mode. So once it's blinking, that's when you kind of toggle down the settings. It's a little confusing. I guess I didn't see that on the instructions here. I don't see them, but hey, at least we figured it out. Let's see the power consumption right now. Did it drop? Oh yeah, it's dropping. So on eco mode, it's starting to drop a bit. The output on here that EcoFlow is showing me, it's, it's dropping a bit here compared to the max mode, which is obviously a mode to cool off a lot quicker. Not bad. All right, guys, to conclude this video, this Bougie RV, I've already had it for two months and I really love it. Um, 289 on Amazon, you can't beat it. This thing is cheap. It might be the same price as their Yeti cooler. So you can't really beat on this one. Uh, when it comes to how long will it last, I'm not sure. I guess I'll give, keep you guys updated. I do use this mostly on a weekly basis. It does sit in my Tundra most of its time and I do use it on a regular basis. I do lend this out to my friends and family. My dad just borrowed this uh, a few days ago. He took it to a week trip in East Texas and he loved it. So I don't have any issues with it. Again, perfect price. I think that's, I mean, just a few years ago when this whole Overland craze started, all you had was just ARB and some other options that were fridges that were like $900. And now we have options like this that are super cheap, super affordable. Again, it's about the same. Maybe it's, I, I haven't checked the prices uh, on Yetis at the moment, but I'm pretty sure they're around the same price. This can plug into your vehicle or if you have a battery pack or if you have a dual battery set up in your vehicle, whatever. It's really nice to have. I really like that eco mode, how you guys saw the draw on it. It's not too bad, especially if you hook that thing up to solar, you're never going to have any issues. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good price or would you opt out and just spending more money on more of a well-known brand? Or do you guys even care about the branding? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, again, stickers right here. Check my Instagram out. And uh, I think that's it, guys. Um, I'm trying to do an honest uh, review video on this. I really don't see any issues on it. I know it's a cheap uh, fridge, but come on, guys. I mean, this is really nice to have for the price. It's You can't complain on it, all right? So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.